goat a close companion of mankind since time immemorial it has a multiple utility value it gives luscious meat as well as diet milk for TB patients the excavations of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro give ample evidence of this companionship even the Upanishads make reference to them Nobody has ever bothered about this abundantly useful animal who can survive even on bare thorny shrubs. But now the days have changed for the better. The latent potential of a goat languishing in darkness has now caught the attention of experts in animal husbandry. Big organizations are now coming forward to undertake biogenetic research and rearing of goats by scientific methods. Our nation needs it most because out of a world population of 560 million goats, India has nearly 120 million. Hardly 37 kilometers from Nagpur, the second capital of Maharashtra, on Nagpur Gatol Road, the goat rearing project of self is situated. Till recently, goat rearing was considered as secondary activity of poor farmers. Mahatma Gandhi nicknamed it as poor man's cow. Self has brought this poor man's cow in the organized sector. The project spans over 500 acres of land. This land was arid and marum based. Experts at SELF have caught on this niche. When the directors of SELF decided on a massive commercial goat farm, we inspected various existing projects. We realized that an average goat farm in India contains only 500 to 1000 goats. But the project we aimed at was much bigger than this. We aimed at a project having more than 5,000 goats. When we finalized the size of the project, we acquired 500 acres of land on this site. This land is rich in silvy pasture with adequate water supply and green pasture. All these factors contributed to selection of the land. Within a short span of one year, this stretch of land is reincarnated. It is full of vital requirements of healthy goat rearing, water and green pastures. For healthy feed of a goat, select species have to be planted. Special grass has to be cultivated, so abundant water supply is a must. Chandrabhaga Reservoir, situated just opposite the farm, fulfilled this need. And this falls under Irrigation Department of Government of Maharashtra. We have entered into a lease agreement for 18 years. Water is drawn by lift irrigation method with 10 HP motor to irrigate the land. Self is truly self-sufficient in water and green pastures. The project has developed a full-fledged nursery. It has nurtured saplings of the entire gamut of green pastures coveted by goat and much more. This green jewel has become an eye-soothing environmental advantage. Out of the 120 known different breeds in the world, about 20 breeds habitat in India. Select few of these are brought in the project. We have analyzed various breeds of goat for the meat yielding potential. After careful study, we have selected Barbary, Jamnapari and local as well as Usmanabadi breeds. They are bought for the project. These are some of the breeds reared in the project. Here we see a local goat. And here, Jamnapari, which hails from Uttar Pradesh. Here we see Barbari breed, famous for its tender and luscious meat. 
For regular reproduction and pure breeds, Self has even brought select bucks of each breed. The select and best goats from all over India are brought in here. Quite possibly, they can bring contagious diseases. So, special precautions have to be taken. It is essential to use three to four prophylactic measures in goat rearing. The foremost is deworming. Worm infection is one of the major problems faced by goats. That is why deworming is a must in every three or four months. Second prophylactic measure used is dipping. Goats suffer from parasites. They infest the body externally and thrive on it like flies, mites, bugs, lice and others. Dipping is carried out in every three to four months to get rid of all these parasites. Third measure is vaccination. Three to four vaccines are administered routinely for protection against all diseases. There's a special vaccine administered before monsoon that protects goats from all diseases. Another vaccine is for enterotoxemia. This is administered in October-November, where abundant green grass is available. This has to be followed by booster dose after 15 days. Thereafter, the dose has to be repeated every six months. Third prophylactic measure is for FMD. This is called Kuri in local language. This vaccine is not administered as a routine practice. It is given only to dames who are in advanced pregnancy. Well, this is all about diseases. Fourth prophylactic measure is disinfection. Once in every 15 days, the goat houses have to be disinfected by using proper disinfectants. Then comes water. It is the main source of infection. It has to be treated with sanitizers. Keeping in view all these things, it is essential to adopt the appropriate measures from time to time. Goats coming in the project are kept in an isolation center for 21 days. They undergo extensive medical checkup every day. Various vaccines and vermicides are administered to them. As they blend into the environment, they are merged with regular goats. This is the first large-scale goat rearing project in India. Despite the evident utility, organized efforts were not made in goat rearing. Desultory efforts made here and there have failed for some reason or the other. The entire project is designed in a most scientific manner. For this, we have taken advice and guidance from leading veterinary experts and retired professors. Young veterinary doctors are appointed at project under their guidance. Their hard work and sincere efforts have reaped the success of this massive project containing such large number of goats. There are 10 specially built houses for about 5,000 goats residing in the project. These are built in the most scientific manner. houses provide 12 square feet of area per adult goat. The houses are designed with proper ventilation and lighting. Thick layer of hay covers the roofs to reduce scorching heat of the sun. Special lights impart cozy warmth in the cold of the winters. 500 goats can stay comfortably in one house. Each house has a nice open nook in front with a wired fencing. 
housing arrangements differ keeping in view the age group and breed. There are special houses for kids. Newborns and their mothers have separate houses. Goats reared specially for meat and for reproduction a house separately. Pregnant mothers have a house of their own. Each house is self-sufficient in food and water. By instinct, the goat climbs up the shrub to eat the foliage. To suit this, special feeders are kept at a specific height. Kids have feeders convenient for their height. Tubs outside each house provide fresh and portable water. These goats follow a well-planned daily routine. Each morning they are taken out for grazing. Shepherds count them while going out. And they are again counted while coming in. At self, keen attention is paid to provide complete and wholesome diet to goats. The diet contains different varieties such as cabbage, cow peas, maize and other green pastures. Apart from this normal diet, a special feed is given to the goats. Newborns are even bottle fed if required. Pregnant mothers are given the most wholesome food to beget healthy offsprings. This is a dietary research center. It carries out research to evolve the best goat food. The most wholesome diet certified by the American Feed Grain Council, that is, concentrated feed, is given to goats. This comes in the form of sticks and coarse grounded particles. The objective is to gain more meat by adding maximum weight to goats in minimum time span. Veterinary doctors reside at the project round the clock. Goat rearing and continuous research is carried out under their able supervision. Successful use of ultra-modern scientific techniques in goat farming is a special feature of self-project. Various farms owned by state government, central government and agricultural colleges carry out research on goat. But they have limited number of goats. At self, scientists have various facilities to carry out extensive scientific research. They have thousands of goats to experiment on and more important, they enjoy complete freedom. Combination of all these factors can be rarely seen in India. Research on goats is a continuous process. For a prolific growth through artificial insemination, semen of bucks of the best breed is collected. This is processed and then given to dames ready for mating. For this it is vital to segregate dames ready for mating. Bucks are used for this purpose. These dames are then given the processed semen. This way the semen of a best buck can be given to many dames. The local goat weighs less. If we want to increase meat yield per goat, he has to weigh more. Similarly, 20% dames beget twins and triplets. This percentage must go up. Dames beget thrice in two years. She has to beget twice in every year. To achieve this, the goat has to be reared in a scientific manner using latest scientific and biogenetic research available. The embryo transfer technology will be used in goat breeding in days to come. All this research will contribute to prolific growth of goats.
self will not limit this technology only at their farm but will deliver it to the very doorsteps of the common farmer this majestic project speaks of careful study of all facets involved in goat rearing and executed with meticulous planning obviously this needs the best of human resources because good planning results in grand success only through these able hands disciplined actions are the backbone of self project far kami kalavadit ya vyavsayamade I feel that the entire credit for all-round success achieved by this project within such a short span of time goes to the hard work and incessant efforts put in by experts and staff working in various departments. Self has ambitious plans for the future and I am confident that with the helping hand of this dedicated team all future plans will be crowned with glorious success this goat rearing project is ready for a massive expansion. Fully equipped modern laboratory is taking shape to strengthen scientific research. Fully furnished housing accommodation for staff working round the clock and office block are under construction. Vision of the directors goes much beyond self. They want involvement of more and more people in the project so as to benefit the entire society. This needs scientific training on a large scale. I suggest self should organize regular training courses on goat farming for farmers. This kind of training will be immensely beneficial to them. Many eminent personalities have visited this project till date. The district collector, government officers, as well as foreign experts have given their helping hand. Now this project is ready for a quantum leap in a new horizon with new vision. This project is such that it can be called a community project, a community goat rearing project. Very soon, we will commence special training course on goat rearing. The building for this is ready. This training complex can accommodate approximately a batch of 40 persons. This will be a 15-day training program. This will not be confined to mere academic knowledge, but will consist of actual on-the-farm training amongst the goats. We have already submitted this proposal to the government of Maharashtra for recognition of this training program, and they have agreed in principle. This is our goat. Survives on thorny bushes. The poor man's cow. Useful in all respects. Even gives milk. Useful from horns to hooves. It has remained in the dark due to lack of special efforts in scientific rearing. But now the sun of self has opened a new dawn on the horizon of goat rearing. Self-project will give a definite direction to goat rearing towards a prosperous tomorrow. <laughs>